In this video, I'll be showing you how I made these Stranger Things 4 themed notebook covers out of resin, alcohol ink, and some other cool sparkly stuff. Stay tuned! For this one, we start off with a normal, typical resin base. I don't fill it up to the tippy top because uh, some of the inks that we throw in there will displace the resin. Next we'll be adding some iridescent flakes and this one unfortunately had a lot of clear filler flakes in it um, so I had to add more than I expected but hey what are you gonna do? And then I just tippy tap 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 all that cellophane down so it doesn't float around too much so much tapping. Okay. Next I hit it with a torch to pop some of the bubbles. Be careful with this. You don't want to burn your mold or the cellophane. Just really quick pass over with the flame. Next we have some black ink. I think I use a fair amount here as we want it to be kind of dark and spooky. It is alcohol ink and I'm using Let's Resin brand. Next, I am using a dark purple, but as you'll see in a minute, is it really dark purple? And the answer to that question was no, it's in fact not. And this is what we call a color change, uh, color shift when a pigment can react to another pigment um, or chemical or pH and it just uh, loses its stability. And the rest of this is basically me just messing around with the inks, trying to get a good pattern going. And the finished product is even pinker. We still have a little bit of the purple there, so that that's kind of a cool effect. But definitely beware of this. Always make sure you swatch your colors with your resins and the inks you're, you're going to be using if you don't want your project to turn out uh, not the way you expected. Um, but I do think this does add to the 80s feel we were going for with this Stranger Things theme. We've got our gay glows and our iridescent neons. I mean, how, how more or less 80s can you get? But yeah, this is the final product and I was pretty happy with it. It looks very spooky, very 80s, exactly like the show. And again, we're starting with a clear base of resin epoxy. And I added some pink and blue color shifting pieces with really cool little sparkle silver accents. And next we have the white alcohol ink going down first and then the red, which magically turns to teal alcohol ink and those I put in between and then on top of the white alcohol ink followed by another pass of the white alcohol ink. How many times can I say alcohol ink? I think you guys know that it's alcohol ink by now. So as a YouTuber, it's really nifty actually recording everything because in this case I had to make the back to this front and I had forgotten everything I had done. Luckily I had footage so all I had to do is go back to see what colors I used and what sequence but even then as you can see it did not come out perfectly. Wow that rhymed. 
Yeah, I guess it depends on the different consistencies of resins and whatnot. So here you can see the replica I made of the one I made in this video. This is meant to be the back. And as you can see, that there is a color change when it cures even. So never expect your final product to be anything like the color you put in and never expect it to be exactly the same if you make it two different times. I guess the moral of the story here is if you want something to look exactly the same, always do it in one pour because once the temperature changes of the room or the temperature of the resin changes you will have different fluid dynamics going and who knows what that can turn out to but I believe that the overall effect of both of them um, turned out really cool it's very spooky and 80s with the glitter it does shift to a blue color um, you can't really tell in this lighting oh and a bit of yellow color too cool yeah, so it's definitely one could be the, you know, the upside down and one can be the normal overworld. And, you know, I think it could be interpreted in many ways, but I uh, hope you like this tutorial. You know, they are more like cousins instead of sisters, but hey, we tried, right? We tried. If you want to know where to find some of these products, I have links below. I hope uh, you're excited as I am for Stranger Things 4, and I will, and I will see you in the next video.